This was a beautiful moment. If there was one moment that will be burned into the memory of every true patriot in this country from the President's speech last night, it was moment the camera turned to the widow of fallen Navy SEAL Ryan Owens. I love you baby, Karen Owens whispered to her beloved husband while looking up towards heaven. There was barely a dry eye in the place and likely more than a few damp ones at home as President Trump addressed Owens's widow. Ryan Owens was a Navy Special Operator Senior Chief. President Trump said the Navy SEAL died as he lived, as both a warrior and a hero. Owens was killed during a raid in Yemen earlier this year. It was the first raid to fight radical Islamic terrorism since Trump took office. President Trump received three rousing lengthy standing ovations during the portion of his speech which addressed the Navy SEAL's widow and the United States military. Trump said Senior Chief William Ryan Owens lost his life battling against terrorism and securing our nation. Trump never looked more presidential than he did last night. Even a few Democrats applauded his words. Ryan was a part of a highly successful raid that generated large amounts of vital intelligence that will lead to many more victories in the future against our enemies. Ryan's legacy is etched into eternity, thank you, President Trump said when quoting General Mattis about the Navy SEAL who gave the last full measure of devotion for America. His patriotic and unifying speech turned the mainstream media on its head. CNN was forced to report that its own approval poll on the president's speech gave him exceptionally high marks. CNN, however, refused to miss a chance to soil the beautiful patriotic moment. New Day show co-host Alison Camarota launched into a partisan tirade to fact-check Trump on his statements about the success of the raid in Yemen. This is complicated. You can't get past her looking up to the heavens for strength during that moment, Camarota said referencing the moment the entire country came together while watching the raw emotion displayed by the grieving widow. This goes to the heart of all of us that want to believe that Ryan Owens did not die in vain and will keep the country safe. They call it highly successful, but there's different reports on whether this was a highly successful raid. John McCain said no, it was not. Camarota continued. Well, if RINO John McCain thinks the raid was not successful, then it must not have been right. Wrong, not a classy move CNN, not classy at all. To those allies who wonder what kind of friend America will be, look no further than the heroes who wear our uniform, the president continued. Throughout the powerful speech, Trump touched upon a vast array of issues related to achieving his goal for America, making it great again. After his joint address to Congress was over, the President and Karen Owens met in the hall for a few moments. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer was able to capture their emotional meeting and shared the image on social media. Donald Trump and the Navy SEAL widow shared an embrace and few words before departing. She now must go on to face life without her best friend, but she appeared deeply appreciative of the manner in which the president and the country honored both his service and his sacrifice. What do you think of President Trump's speech? Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know your thoughts. It's News Exposed signing off.